Welcome back. It's just around 6.30 and you're locked onto your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, they say if you want to know the value of an hour, ask a criminal who faces the maximum penalty. If you want to know the value of a minute, ask someone who's just missed their flight. But what about the value of a second? Now, ponder that for a second because according to horologists, those are the scientists who study time, this past Saturday had one extra second added to it due to a phenomenon called a leap second, something that's been happening at irregular intervals since 1972. Now, astronomer at the South African Astrological Observatory, Nicola Loring, joins us this morning to tell us a bit more about this phenomenon called the leap second. Good morning. Morning to you. Good morning. So this thing, leap second, it's it's a worldwide phenomenon. What exactly is it, and why do we have to add it to our time? Well, that's because there's kind of different time systems that are set up around the world um, based on different things. Um, and the sort of time that we're familiar with um, is called coordinated universal time. Mm -hmm. And that's based on the time from very precise um, atomic clocks, which basically count out very precise seconds. And that's how you know we, we, we do our time. But uh, traditionally, we use um, the sun to, to measure time, uh -huh. um, and because of the, the um, strong links there with with them, um, you know, daytime having sort of lunch at noon and things like that, yes. then we try to keep our times sort of tied to that system. And un unfortunately, the Earth is actually slowing down slightly, so there was actually a discrepancy between the two times, the one based on atomic clocks and the one based on, on the position of the sun. And so over time, you, you get a, a, a difference between those two references. Yes. And so what we do is we introduce or we take out a leap second roughly every year and a half, okay. but not precisely that, um, to kind of basically resynchronize the two, t the two times, the two types of times we have. It sounds super crazy. So what would actually happen if we didn't make these adjustments and we didn't add that extra second? If we didn't make those adjustments, then the two times would gradually get out more and more out of sync. Okay. And so, um, you know, when you're, according to our time, our official time that we use, which is coordinated universal time, could say like it's midnight, but the sun could be up, you know, it could be sort of noon according to solar time. Wow. So, you, you know... So we could be having, like, over lunch well, while it's dark if we uh, carried yeah, on. And, 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 and vice versa. So if we, if we don't make those corrections, then the two times will get further and further out of sync. Yeah. So how often does this, does this happen? You said from year to year. It's been happening since 1972. So they, they instituted the, the leap seconds in 1972, and since then they've done 35, which is including the one over the weekend. Um, and they're basically roughly every year, um, every year and a half. That, and so far, all of them have been positive. So so far, we've always added a second. So you've always got an extra second yeah. sleep rather than taking away. So obviously, this doesn't mean much to the normal man on the street because I mean, you look at whatever it is. It's your computer always kind of adjusts, and then you set your time because you think your battery slowed down. But it probably does have kind of bigger consequences for people like you in your industry of uh, astro astronomy. Astronomy, yeah. Not astrology, so astronomy. For, so, I mean, the main thing is computers. Nowadays, we're so reliant on computers, mm -hmm. and the computer time is, is basically, on the internet, for example, is UTC. It's Coordinated Universal Time, which has these leap seconds added to it. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people don't make allowances for this in their software, and then you get crashes and things. So I think over the weekend, Mozilla experienced a crash, which yeah. is one of the big... Um, browsers mm -hmm. um, and also Reddit, the web page Reddit, Reddit um, yeah. had a crash and also the, I, I read on the news that um, Qantas Airlines in Australia, they had a problem with their booking system, not not, not the sort of air traffic or anything yes, like yes, that. because of no. this time just, issue. Just, just the booking system so people couldn't check in so they had like loads of planes grounded at Sydney because people couldn't check in. And I hear that it's, it's, also, it's, it's also so impactful that NASA does not schedule their launch dates That's on the right. day just, of just the Just to be on the safe side, um, for example, the SALT telescope um, here, here um, in South Africa, um, we had to make all allowances to the software. And there's basically big email warnings sent out saying, we've, we've updated the software, we, we think it should be fine, but please let us know if there's any, any problems. And uh, you know, to my knowledge, there wow. wasn't. But uh, everyone's aware of it, just to, to be That is so crazy. Side. So is there some big grandfather clock somewhere out, in the, out there in the world that's just always right, the one that's keeping all well, the time? Well, the, 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 basically the atomic clocks, I think there's about um, 50 to 70 of them or something around the world. And what they do is rather than just use the one clock, they take the average time from all of those clocks so that they're incredibly, so, you know, the time you get is incredibly accurate. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I hope these will soon come out like in wrist.
this format that you can actually have your watch that's always on on time. Nicola, thank you very, very much for sharing your insights with us. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Now, I think the question I want to ask is, what did you do with your extra second on Saturday? Think about that for a second, huh? What did you do? Liad, what did you do with your extra second? And SABC3.